caper with a map. He got his silence after that one, I'll tell you. B. Weber's got a strike. See, that's what... And, and he looked... Pete. Bell mode. And he got a bit emotional about that last night, talking about it. Let's see how it goes. He's on. Um, on the world, I don't know if he's really human, because I've bowled this tournament a few times, and um, to, to be able to win it for... Just playing in and... Weber, after bowling a strike first time around. He can do it at the bottom. Also, he's been quiet. Got it. Better result. Pocket. Than... Patience, patience, patience. Can you Game stop left. moving over there, please? Like I said, would I don't know who he's looking at. He's got the rabbit ears going now. Not good. Yeah. You got gotta him. do is sit still. Unfavorite bowlers. <laughs> Maybe not their favorite after today, but. Belmonte's got two strikes. Pete. This is not. Here. With a rev rate over 600. Mm. <laughs> You would think the high hard one and looking for a second strike of the match. You think I'm going to talk when he's getting ready or crazy. And he got a strike. I, I did some. It would be an honor. After his third strike. Yep. BPA to win this. Monty trying to maintain his lead. Monty, because of the style and the shoulders being after the spare, and he's got it. I think the most not hard to create really only in Belmonte here. Was talking about and not to rev things up. And his ball's revved up, but he doesn't want to be revved up. He waited, and uh, we'll leave over. Down. Now he's going after the spare. He has three strikes so far. Oh, got it. Press open as Pete Weber, the number five. The pins. In the uh, everybody's getting the stare down from Pete. <laughs> Pete's got it. It's the U.S. Open. He's got it wound up for this one, doesn't he? Weber coming off a couple of strikes. Tough. We will be bowling in a hurry right here for the spare. And he got information about. Matched up here. Trying to move to the championship round. And again. Put the U.S. Open title. This guy's been here before. That is the one. It's throwing a lot of strike throws. I think Henri is the one moving over there going, hey, I want to win. And right now, three strikes. They each have three. And he comes back and gets his fourth. And you're going to watch. There you see. And the back to back strikes. He could have. So an open frame. He could have really put some pressure on. He, doubled, he could have doubled up, taken an 11 pin lead, and instead he looks at possibly an open frame. Down and he does. Weber with the lead, trying to extend it. Got it. We can tip the half more, maybe. Tip the four, so can I. The half. Belmonte with four. If Pete strikes here. After the strike, not to be shut out. Yeah! Come on! Gary, you know how... Taking advantage. Jason Belmonte. 
Got it. Two. Take this lane. He went light and left the 210. Well, Monty keeping his hopes alive. Yes, he does. It used to be as Del Monte got it. And I want to lay face. Jason Belmonte to finish it up. Mm. Win by one pin. Spare nine. Like him like that. Went a little high and went. This is it. Weber trying to advance a strike here with set him up. He got it. Because he just went over there and gave him the business. He's got to stay behind the foul line. He does. After the number four. The most unforgettable finish in this major's history. Mika Koivunyemi going up against Hall of Famer Norm Duke. In the 10th frame, Koivunyemi needed to convert a 10-pin spare in order to claim the title. He missed. Handing Duke his second U.S. Open championship.